104.5 the team 104.5 the team.com your home for new york sports brady and guys in for levac today sweet 16 action today oklahoma taking on texas a&m and when we want to talk about the sooners we go out to our man zach mccright radio host who's covered teams in louisville st louis and in oklahoma city zach buddy healed he's pretty unbelievable how far can he take this team well i mean if last weekend's any indication man i, I mean it, it could be pretty far um in fact, I'll give you a quick story. Uh, in the locker room after the game, and I don't know how public this got, but Buddy uh, told a story about how the guy guarding him for VCU, and we never did get his – actually, he kept on saying number five, and I don't have his number in front of me, but VCU number five kept on talking trash to him in the second half, saying, you can't hold me, you can't hold me. And he said, uh, uh, he said okay, well uh, – you know, then I'm I'm going to you know I'm going to show you up, and uh, so that's where a twenty, I think it was a twenty nine point second half came out of Buddy Heald, and he uh, they almost literally put the team on his back and and won the game. It was something that I think uh, a lot of the players, even though they even though they've seen Buddy go off before, I don't think they've seen him do it quite this way. Um, so uh, you know, I, it it can, it can totally be done, but uh, he's going to need some help from his friends this time. I mean, you can do that if you're VCU. But uh, he can't be the one-man show against teams in the Sweet 16 and Elite Eight if, if they want to win a national championship. They're taking on the Texas A&M Aggies. And, of course, Texas A&M last weekend has that amazing comeback against Northern Iowa, down 12 with about 45 seconds to go. When a team has that type of comeback, is there a fear with the Oklahoma Sooners that now they have almost destiny on their side and they have this momentum heading into the matchup? You know, I, I used to think that, and surely a coach like Lon Kruger will go back and show all the, all the times, including this year, where a team, uh, you know, a, a Cinderella comes and wins one game and then gets blown out uh, or, or just gets plain beat in the second game. I mean, the, the game, the, the, this year's example that comes to mind is Middle Tennessee. You know, they, they, they knock off. Michigan State in what a lot of people would probably say is the biggest upset in NCAA tournament history. And then what do they do? They play. They get. They get lucky. They they get a ten seed in the second round in Syracuse, and then lay a complete egg. You know. So I think destiny is only as uh, as important as you know whether shots are going in or they're not. You know, for for your team and for your opponent. So I would think that's probably the message that. Lon Kruger sends on to his team as they, as they, uh, or, or any team, I'm sorry, is, is, is doing in the second round going into the Sweet 16. One of the teams that could have been in the Sweet 16 from the ACC, but because of their self imposed ban was not, is Louisville. You've worked in Louisville before. Rick Pitino, the scandal involving things off the court. Are you surprised Coach Pitino still kept his job? Well, I would, I would wait on that. Let's let's make sure let's let's see how the next month or so goes. Hmm. Um, I'm not sold that he's still going to be back. I mean, he acts oh. like it, and I think uh, he acts like it, and he's recruiting like it. We've seen him out on recruiting trips. I'm here in Louisville right now, and we've seen him out in uh, recruiting trips. Uh, there's a kid right across the river from Louisville in New Albany, Indiana, who you'll hear a lot more about in coming years. He's only a sophomore, and Latino's going to watch him in the tournament. Um, he's already been out in the stands watching him, so. He's acting like he is the coach next year. And, um, but, you know, the NCAA is going to drop the hammer here soon, and Rick Pitino is going to go and talk to NCAA investigators within the next couple of weeks, I'm told. So we'll see what happens there. But I will say this. It, it's my opinion that anyone else, almost literally anyone else, if their name wasn't Rick Pitino, if this happened under their watch, they'd be gone. But you're in a you're in a basketball crazed uh, town in Louisville. You have won, you, you have a coach who's won a national championship, been to a couple Final Fours just here in the last handful of years. And man, you know, what's the old adage? Winning takes care of everything. I, I think that's what's been going on here with Rick Pitino, and so he he still gets a ton of support, especially when a lot of uh, people have him as a top two or three team in the country next year. So 
He still has the support, but I, I, if it were anybody else, I'd be shocked if he, if he was still here. And you mentioned the possibility of Patino possibly being gone in a month. Is that because of the increased scrutiny possibly from the media in Louisville? Continue to learn more details about the story. Is it about the NCAA possible penalties that come down, or is it a combination of all those things that may cost the coach's job? Well, look, I think uh, look, he is beloved at Louisville, and Tom Jurch is the athletic director. You're probably going to hear his name a lot more here in the next couple of uh, weeks to months. Um, they look. They've built the dynasty there, and Tom's done a great job of. Tom Jurich has done a great job of building all the programs up. I mean, the football program has been a little shaky here since Bobby Petrino came back, but all, I mean, all the other secondary programs. A lot of them are in the top twenty-five, which is really amazing. So, when he says I support Rick Petrino, then the fans here are like, "Great, we're with you, Tom. That's great. We'll do that." But what the NCAA might might do. It might do is go look, Tom Jurich and President James Ramsey, who, by the way, will be out the door for his own stuff too. Um, hey, we're going to we, we appreciate your self-imposed ban, but unless you want us to drop the hammer a little bit more, you better get rid of the coach that this happened all under his watch with. You be, you better get rid or you know if you, if you want to keep him fine, uh, you know maybe we put down the hammer again. Um, but, you know, if you want to try to keep things uh, fairly safe for you going into next year, you might want to part ways with that guy. Um, I don't know if that's going to happen, but I think, it's a, I think it's a distinct possibility that the NCAA is going to go and say, all right, who are all the people that are still left from this scandal? And there's one. It's Rick Pitino. So maybe Louisville tries to find a nice way to part ways with him, let, it, let Rick do it on his own terms, and then – the NCA might give him a break the rest of the way. I'm speculating. That's total guessing, but we'll see what happens here pretty soon. Zach McCray, radio host who's been out in uh, in Louisville, St. Louis, and Oklahoma City. And when we speak about St. Louis, Zach, the Rams leave St. Louis, head to Los Angeles. What does that do to the people of St. Louis? Oh, it hurts, man. It, it, it really hurts them. Um, and they are going to act at least some of them, the high and mighty ones, are going to act like this is no big deal. Well, our team sucks all the time. We don't really even care. Um, and, and I think that's all kind of a mask for how hurt they are. Um, they were lied to. They were lied to by a lot of different people. They thought, I think what really uh, kills them is they thought that their team was, uh, you know, working hard for them uh, and, and, and that their administration, that their front office was trying to get great players for them and that really wasn't even the case they were i think they you know one of the things was you know where's the next quarterback where's our next sam bradford sam bradford's not getting the deal done and they just said yeah we're yeah, we we get it but we're going to kind of keep them there uh you know because we don't want we don't want to be too good because if we do we might have to stay this was all put into place um we find out after the fact this was all put into place years ago by Stan Kroenke, the owner, and I think that's what's really pissed off the fans. Um, they've got the St. Louis Cardinals to fall back on and the, and the St. Louis Blues to a lesser degree. But um, no NFL, the NFL getting taken away from a city for a second time, that's basically like the death penalty. They're never going to get the NFL again. At least they, a lot of them don't think they do, and I think that's what hurts the most is they lose even the possibility of getting an NFL team again. Zach, we've had to talk about college scandals and relocation for NFL teams. Let's get you out of here on something positive, okay? We play a game on our show called Defend Your Tweet. Are you willing to play? Oh, God. <laughs> who, who knows what's going to come out here? Uh, yeah, because I'm right. Twitter account. Oh, my gosh. All right. <laughs> Let's just confirm your Twitter account is at Big Easy. That's right. Correct. All right. It is. Oh, God. You, tweet- oh, God. you tweeted this on March 13th, quote, to the uncoordinated, immoral person who hit my parked car and ran, hi. Defend your tweet. <laughs> I, was, I was actually doing radio here in Louisville. I was filling in for Bob Valvano on his show, and I had my car parked um, out at a meter right outside the station. And when I came back out, it was, the mirror was you know, halfway off. Oh. And, and I'm like, what? What, what happened here? Uh, what, I, did anybody see anything? And, of course, you know, hit and runs like that, you, you, you come out, whether, whether your mirror's off or you come out to your parked car and someone's keyed your car. I think a lot of people have 
had some or a tire slashed or anything, that's a helpless feeling. So I, I was hoping somewhere, you know, maybe some, whoever did it was maybe following me on Twitter uh, by by some weird stretch of my imagination, and I just wanted to say hello to that person. See, Zach, that would have been better because if you saw the person do it, you might have jumped out and chased after him maybe to make sure, hey, hey, come on back because I've had that happen before to me. So maybe it's better you didn't have to find that person and really tell them what you thought of them. Well, <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you this. If I had to chase somebody, I'd probably lose that anyway. <laughs> so uh, I'd probably lose that race. So, yeah, you're probably right with probably better off i didn't see him i just would have embarrassed myself further <laughs> zach mccrite radio host he's been he's been in oklahoma city he's been in st louis he's been in louisville and he gives us perspective on all things related to all three cities zach enjoy the sooners game tonight we'll be watching too and uh, thanks for being with us guys all the best